Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you the top 15 shortcut keys of Altrex. Let's begin. First, add a browse tool after the selected tools using Control Shift B. So if I bring input data from the palette, I point it out towards the file which I can open. Something that is there already in the list of the recently opened files. And then, after choosing the Data Input tool, I press Control shift b and that quickly adds the Browse tool. Next, if you want to run or stop the workflow, use Control r So Control r is the same as pressing this Run Workflow button. Either you click on the green button, or you press Control r In one of the videos, I've already explained the importance of the Browse tool. It helps you in data profiling. Next, you can select all the tool elements using Control A. If you wish to deselect, press Control D. Let me show you both. I'm in the canvas area. I press Control A, and I can see both the tool elements chosen. What if I press Control D? D for deselect. Next, you can align the tools vertically using Control Shift Plus. And if you wish to do that horizontally, you should use Control Shift Minus. Let me explain the utility. While drawing a complex workflow, the elements could be placed in different areas of the canvas. If I choose both the elements and I press Control Shift Minus, I can see them align horizontally. If we have several elements which are at the bottom and you would want to align them vertically, then choose both the elements and press Control Shift Plus sign. Next, if you want to show the toolbar or hide it, press Control Alt B. The way I remember this is because the last letter of Alt is T and the next one is B, so toolbar. Let's give it a try. I'm going to press Control Alt B. Once again, notice the difference on my screen. So that's what you get on pressing Control Alt B. Next, if you want to show or hide the tool palette, you can use Control Alt T. So if I press Control Alt T, Let's see what happens on the screen. This will give you more working area for the canvas space. Next, if you want to show the overview or hide it, press Control Alt V. So I press Control Alt V. I can see at the bottom left corner of my window, I can see the overview window. Next, if you want to show the results, which is generally placed at the bottom right corner, press Control Alt R. So here I go, pressing Control Alt R. Remember, Control R is for running the workflow, but Control Alt R is for the results window. Next, if you want to show or hide the properties window, press Control Alt C. Control Alt C and see on the left hand side of the screen, you see the properties or the configuration window hiding and showing up again. Next, if you want to show or hide the interface designer, press Control Alt D. So I press Control Alt D once again, and there you go. Next, if you have multiple workflows and you wish to toggle between them, then press Control Tab. And this is equally applicable for any applications, be it Excel, PowerPoint, or even the Chrome browser. So suppose I have two workflows and I'm going to press Control Tab. Once I get the window, I can choose. Notice just by pressing Control Tab and toggling to that active window. Next, this is something that can apply on any and every application, using F1 to invoke help. So if I press F1, it opens up the browser with all the help elements that you get from the Altrix online directory. The last and the most beautiful trick in Altrix is a search box. You see something on the top right hand corner. Well, if you know the name of the tool, you can definitely write it. However, if you do not know the tool element and yet you want to find out the help section, then do one thing. Just mention the problem that you wish to solve and Altrix will help automatically to suggest you something that can help you. Not just the tool, but with an example against and also various community blogs that can help you master those tools. If you ask me, this is something that I have used most in learning and mastering Altrix. So, you saw the top 15 shortcut keys of Altrix. If need be, please watch this video again and let your work in Altrix be super, super fast.